Hello YouTubers and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to another Lego Castle set review. And today we have set number 70402 and this is the Gatehouse Raid. This set was released in 2013, comes with a piece count of 248, comes with four minifigures um, and indeed a horse. And it retailed in the UK for £24.99. That's from the Lego Store, Lego Store R9, or $29.99 in the US of A. Okay, so here we get to see our first look of the set itself. So you can see there in the background is the main gatehouse. There is one and two minifigures, and then we have obviously our dragon's army here with a catapult one minifigure there one minifigure here on top obviously the horse so let's take a quick look at those minifigures to start with and there we go there we get to see our four minifigures and the horse obviously are two from the king's army and two from the dragon's army and obviously the horse from the dragon's army too so let's just take a closer look at the front of these minifigures Okay, starting off with the King's Army, obviously we can see our first minifigure there um, in his shining armour, his shield and sword. Moving across we have our next King's Army um, with his long spear there, then again to the Dragon's Army with a long spear. Um, and our final Dragon's Army minifigure there, again in his shining armour with his shield and sword. And then finally over to the Dragon's Army horse <coughs> there with its armour and coat. Let's take a quick look at the rear. Okay, so the rear of our horse there, moving along and we can see the rear of those minifigures. Okay, now a side shot, give us a better look at those weapons. And there we go. Just moving back along into the horse, you can see some great printing on that armour and coat. And there we go, so that is our minifigures. Okay, so next up we will take a quick look at the catapult, so let's have a look at that now. Okay, so here we go, here's our catapult, and it is a fairly basic catapult, um, obviously on wheels, um, can be moved um, around quite nicely, as you can see there. I'm um, spinning this round, here are the um, flaming boulders, I guess we could call them, as they're in that translucent orange. Just spin that round. I say quite basic, um, but a decent size obviously in the colours of the Dragon's Army. Just bring that back round to that side and very simple to operate. This is just simply push down like so and obviously you will fire out the boulder um, which will sit inside here. So we are to take one of these off like so. Spin that back round, that obviously goes inside there which obviously you can now see. And to fire that, just zoom out a little bit. And we are just simply going to push down on here. And you can see there it fires out. Obviously only done that softly so you can see it. Do it harder. And then obviously it fires out of a shot. Um, so like I said guys, quite a basic um, catapult. Um, but obviously uh, does the job, looks the part. Um, and goes quite nicely to complement your Lego Castle army. So, next up, let's take a, the, take a look at the main gatehouse. Okay, so onto the main gatehouse, it's said, which is the main, obviously, structure um, of this set. So, if we spin that round like so, so you can get to see what it looks like, I guess, from all angles. And then we'll have a look at the um, functions that are on this set. There are a couple of them. 
And then again round to that side. And finally back round to the front. Um, so first thing, um, if we zoom in to the gatehouse, let's just move down. Um, the main gate itself, um, it's not just a static gate, it can be opened. Um, it opens this way, so inwards, um, like so. So that is where the gate's opened. And push it close, like so. We obviously have these torches on the front there. Um, what you can probably make out um, here, spin that round, there is a crossbow, fixed crossbow there, which can be fired. Um, thing to also point out while I'm there is here and down here there's obviously some modified bricks there for Technic pins and if I go around to the other side you've got the same here um, and this is because the way they have designed these Lego um, castle sets if you look at my review of the main King's Castle you'll see that it's very much modular in that it can be taken apart and put in different formations so this is designed so that if you so wanted to, this could form um, obviously part of that just by simply slotting together um, obviously with a friction pin. Okay, and over on this side of the gatehouse, um, we have some um, iron bars there. Um, and if we just spin round to that, the main reason for that is this is actually um, a little obviously prison that Sal, we can see um, down here and um, there's indeed a lock that's a printed piece there um, and if we just pull that like so you can see that's now opened and there is indeed space in there to fit um, a minifigure so you can have a minifigure locked in the prison that cell there um, over to here we can see inside um, this section of the gatehouse back there to the rear you can see that crossbow so obviously we can have a minifigure um, situated in that side here. Uh, if we just grab one of the minifigures now from the set, um, you can obviously get to see that. If you spin that round, um, you can just about see him um, there, obviously now ready to fire that crossbow. Um, up the top, there is more space, um, at the top of these rather, to fit minifigures again so we can obviously put him um, in there which you can now see and again on the other side so up to the very top I guess of this gatehouse the uh, main turret area again let's just raise that up and enable us to zoom in so the main turret area which we can see there in the center there is actually a catapult um, which can be fired like so. So, if sticking on there, we can see the uh, king's emblem there. And um, again, that's just a shield at the top. But just to point out here, actually, these here are supposed to be blue flags. Now, the set does come with some stickers, so these would have um, stickers on these. Um, but I choose not to put the stickers on because I'm going to be building a Lego Castle mock. So don't want to put stickers on anything, certainly at this stage. Um, if I spin that round and zoom in a little bit, you can see the rear of that catapult there. That is actually on a rubberized um, piece there, which allows it to be pushed down. And obviously the resistance there, let that go, will obviously fire. Um, what actually gets fired are here, we can see here these three cylinders uh, represent the boulders and obviously that's a case of putting it in the catapult um, and firing. Um, plenty of space up the top of the turret there to fit in a couple of minifigures um, up the top here um, to obviously defend the gatehouse and ultimately um, the castle. Okay, there we go, that's my review of this set complete, set 70402, the Gatehouse Raid. My opinion, quite a good little set, um, good to go with the Lego Castle uh, to expand if you are, as I am doing, going to be building that Lego Castle theme and army. 
Um, so a thumbs up from me um, for this set two. Anyway guys, let me know what you think down in the description, sorry, <laughs> down in the comments um, to this video. Let me know what you think of the Lego Castle theme. Um, any comments, questions, feedback, always welcomed. Um, please do go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up too. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Destination Lego. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!